So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reach the Savardaheim Tower. Uh, the reason why I made this video, it took me a pretty long time to figure out how to climb it. Uh, like the elevator is all already up, so you can't call the elevator down. So right here, if you see where the Forgotten Caves are, I'm in a little, I'm in the cave behind, uh, behind the Forgotten Caves. There's like an entrance you uh you can uh, steer your boat into. Now I'm not sure if it's available. Um, earlier in the game, it's best to do this after you completed the main quest. Uh, for one, you know the water's all the way shallow, and you have uh, more, um, you have access to um, more sections of the game and different docks that you wouldn't have in the beginning. Also, when you're trying to, uh, when you're locating these shine, these shrines, there's going to be uh, rim tears. And in these realm terrors, there's some pretty powerful enemies. They're like level seven, level six. And right now, I'm like, I'm, I think I'm just hitting level six. So, you know, a, a couple of these enemies were pretty tough. So you see how you would be coming in from the opposite direction. I, I'm actually coming from behind, but you would be coming in. So where I made a right, that would be your immediate left uh, entering these caves. And then you just want to climb this rock here. Also up here, there's a uh, one of Odin's ravens. He's see him up there in the corner. And you just want to, you know, hit him with an axe or something. So you can see I've only found 16 so far. You see, that was a round tear on the other side. I'm actually gonna run back here and grab this uh, chest. And then go back and uh, face the challenge of the realms here. That was pretty tough, man. I'm I'm a horrible father of Kratos. You know, I let Atreus do all the work. Uh, more so when it's high-level creatures. I keep my distance and I and I spam the arrows. <laughs> the arrow damage is maxed out, so it does it does pretty good damage. But as you can see, they're pretty high level. So if they hit me like twice and I'm I'm dead and then I hit the uh, Spartan Rage one of the wolves fell off and you get your life back during the Spartan Rage so this was like my little cheese to get through some of the tougher bosses in the game man it was the comeback is pretty tough it's not, it's not like old God of Wars man this, this is the comeback is pretty challenging So finish them off, then I go back to the rim tier right, and get my prize. Another thing too, um, another reason why I suggest doing the main quest first is also uh, Atreus, he's not able to read the runes in the beginning. He's not able to translate it. If you wait to the end, he'll be able to translate all of these runes, so it won't be a wasted trip. All right, last one. And then this guy right here, he's I think he's level five. He wasn't that hard. The shield gets a little aggravating, but he wasn't that tough. But yeah, man, that's how you uh, that's how you access Savardaheim's tower. There's another tower like this where you had to go around. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but this was this is the one that took me the longest, so I figure you know this will help someone else out. But hey man, appreciate you tuning in, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Y'all be easy.